Welcome to another Photoshop tutorial from tutorvid.com. This tutorial is going to show you how to replace this guy in a photo like this one, uh, which started out like this. All right, so I'll get rid of my layers and start from the beginning. So this works best on an image that has a white sky. So to get my blue sky, I'll take it from an image I have shot before. And I have a folder full of skies I like to use in images I want to replace the sky with. So it's good if you see a nice blue sky one day or with nice clouds you want to use uh, to save that image and use it for later. So I'm just going to pick a sky here. I'll take this one and drag it into Photoshop. And I'm using CS5, so when I drop the image into Photoshop, it's going to come on as another layer. But if you're using CS4, most of these things will work exactly the same, except when you, if you drag and drop a new image in Photoshop, it'll open up as a new file. So all you have to do there is select everything, go Control A, and then Control C to copy this whole image. Then go into your new image. I'll just remove this guy I took, and then paste it in here, Control V. Uh, the color space might not be the same, just click OK and it'll convert it. Now this guy's a little small for this image, but I'll use it just to show an, as an example. If you need to change the size of the sky you pasted in, press Control T, and then grab this corner, and preferably hold Shift down to keep the ratio aspect ratio the same, and then make it so it fits your whole image. And then you can use this Move tool here, to move it around and it's a good idea to match up the horizon here with the horizon on the background so this guy looks like it belongs to this image all right so there we have the sky and on top of this new image now to get these to blend is the tricky part so the first thing is create a layer mask down here and now we want to black this out to hide this sky for now so press Control i to inverse and that'll flip this layer mask from white to black so it hides everything. Now we want to select the sky so a quick way to do that is click on the background and then click select, color range and then click on the background. Wherever you click that's the color range it's going to select so clicking on the sky will select the white or a little bit blue if that's the color of it and then adjust this fuzziness so that it creates a fairly good black line between the sky and whatever's on the landscape. And then press OK. Now we can blur the selection a little bit by going up to Select, Modify, Feather, and we'll feather it just two pixels. Now back to our layer mask on the sky. Make sure it's selected. You can see that it's selected when it has the bold black around it and we'll grab the gradient tool, press the G or click over here and make, there sh make sure this is white to black and your colors are white and black and now all we have to do is draw a gradient in the sky and there you can see I drew it backwards so just draw it the other way and the reason I'm using a gradient here is because skies are often lighter towards the horizon and it also helps us when we blend the horizon into the sky it makes it simpler if it's a very light shade of sky at the horizon so I'm going to draw a fairly long gradient uh, to make this as simply to blend as possible. Another trick, if there's some, a difficult area like these trees, you can create sort of a wider area there. And play with this gradient a little bit till you get one you like. Alright, so I'm happy with that. When you're satisfied, press Ctrl D to deselect. And now we just have a little bit of cleaning up to do. You can see these buildings over here got a little blue and a couple spots in here are blue. So with the brush tool pressing B and painting with black on our layer mask paint over all the areas that became blue and shouldn't be blue. To flip back and forth you can press this invisible visible. You can see that's pretty good now. Uh, you can also create a contrast layer just for the sky by creating a curves and then to make it just affect the layer below click this button here now you can see this arrow only affects the sky if we do a heavy edit it's only affecting that sky layer so I'm gonna edit this a little bit and that's all you have to do the after and the before check out more tutorials on tutorvid.com